Hi, I'm Curtis Bartis and welcome back to my channel. So on this channel, we cover topics regarding money, cryptocurrencies and more. I'm saying more because it's topics you and me as a viewer discuss together any specific topic you would like to discuss or make a video about. So back to today's video. Today we're talking about credit score. What is a credit score? How to improve basically? And why would you need a credit score? This is actually part two to a video. I said how to check your credit score, which was a while ago. So this is just a follow up on that video. You can check that video out. It will be on top or you can check it down in the description. So what is a credit score? So basically a credit score is a three digit number that reflects how good you are at paying off debt in the past. So why would you want a good credit score? So realistically most of us won't be able to make the big purchases such as a house or a car. And having a good credit score will have you have competitive rates or interest rates when purchasing this house or home where the credit bureau or the bank for example will lend you the money on their behalf so you will be able to purchase this house or vehicle resulting in you getting the item and paying it over back over time with a decent credit score you will have the best possible rates depending on your credit score. So in South Africa, South Africa has four major credit bureaus that provide you with your credit score. And all of these credit bureaus provide the credit score in a different number, the three digit number I mentioned, which is Experian is one, TransUnion is a second, CompuScan and XDS. All these credit bureaus provide your credit score in a different way, for example. Clear score, which is Experian, provides your credit score from 0 to 750, where TransUnion might be provided from 0 to 800. And all this credit is basically, it's the same, but it's just, it has its own scale, which is different compared to the other ones. But it's still a number, three digit number, basically, providing your credit score or how good standard you are. And all these four companies have a model they use which calculating your credit score which is named the FICO. And FICO is made out of five parts when determining your credit score. Which is the amount owned, the new credit, length of credit history, credit mix and payment history. And this is the criteria used for determining your credit score. So today I'm just going to give you five ways of improving your credit score. So the first way of improving your credit score is basically getting or checking your credit report. So firstly, you won't be able to know which sectors you're lacking or vulnerabilities in your credit if you don't know exactly your credit report. So the first step is basically checking your credit report. This will show you on fields you might be missing such as late payments, mistimed payments or outstanding payments basically. So the second way of improving your credit score is basically just paying off your account. This one counts for about 35% of your overall credit score. And a tip or just a rule of thumb would be pay off the highest interest rate first, highest interest rate account first and also pay at least a week or a few days before the due date as this will show creditors you are paying beforehand. Third way of improving your credit score will be reducing your credit utilization ratio. So what is this? So the utilization ratio is your, your credit limit compared to how much you actually use. So for example, if your credit limit at a clothing account is 15,000 and you use 1,500, so your utilization ratio would be 10%. So it's good to keep your utilization ratio at least 30% and lower. So if you have a, for example, 10,000 Rand at Fushini and you use 5,000, that means your utilization will be 50%, which would not be good to improving your credit score. So third step would be have your, your, have your credit utilization ratio at least underneath 30%. So number four is have a good track record paying off your debt. Firstly, your credit score won't improve significantly overnight. So building up credit score over 
a certain amount of time will improve will basically just improve your credit score manually or in the background so the fourth step is just basically paying off your accounts and have a long track record of you paying off your accounts and the fifth way is have diversity in your credit so what i mean by this is have different ways of credit for example a clothing account is one type of credit another type of credit would be a wi-fi account or a telecom account another would be a credit card which you are diversifying in your credit so having different types of credit would also improve your credit score as this will show you basically paying off and just another tip you don't need to make debt to improve your credit score as i mentioned as a wi-fi account for example you get this on credit so you're basically paying it off month to month for example a clothing account if you know you're going to be buying clothes take it on account and basically just pay it off monthly as this will show don't un don't go and go make unnecessary debt as that is a challenge for example as you can see you have this credit limit for example 20,000 don't go overboard and just like I said keep the, the utilization ratio beneath the 30 percent and keep it at that on a monthly basis so I'm just gonna show you basically my track record or my credit score as I've been for the last I've basically had my credit score for about seven months now so I'm just gonna show you my journey or my how my credit score basically improved from there started from zero to where I am now so for I basically use clear score for checking my credit score as it's basically free compared to the other ones so firstly my credit score at the moment is 648 to comp out of 740, 740 compared to where I started. So firstly, the app allows me on June 2022, my credit score was 3 as basically I didn't start. July, it went up as you can see from 3 to 633 only for me opening one account which was my current account. August. We opened another account, Telcom, as my Wi-Fi, as you can see, it shot up basically just from three, from 633 to 638. So it didn't go up a lot as I think the diversity in my account, which is the fourth way of improving account. September, we basically went up another account. As you can see, this is where the record, the track record of me basically paying off my accounts came in hand. October, we stay the same, nothing changes much. November still stay the same nothing much i only had the two december it went down probably due to me having an inquiries which i i think i, I attempt at opening a credit card at at time bank which it was just an inquiry which not basically opening account so june we opened so december yeah december was just basically that june it went down again i think basically just basically did the track record in inquiries Feb it went down again for another inquiry at FMB. So inquiries for specific credit card will also bring it down. So latest basically it went up for me to 106.58. So it goes up and down basically just paying off my account. So looking at the payment history, you can see on time basically from 2022 to 2023, I've been basically just paying on time, no missed payments, and no there is specific no data for the specific month. As we can see, so from where I started from three to now, we basically improved the credit score and we're keeping a good standing, which is by basically paying it off and keeping that five rules I mentioned, keeping those rules up to hand basically. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video, basically of how briefly how to improve your credit score and how these steps may help you in attempting to improve your credit score. So if you're new to the channel, please do me the honor by subscribing to the channel as we cover a lot of topics like today's video mention and a lot of different topics if you might see on the channel. So if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And also if you enjoy this video, make sure to like. And until next time, peace out.